My name is William Jarnigan, and I am chief of the uh, hepatopancreatic biliary service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, and also a professor of surgery at Wild Cornell Medical Center here in New York City. The latest edition re represents a marked change from the prior versions. We have a total of 161 individual chapters, all with uh, updated references and many new figures. There's been a, a reorganization of the book generally uh, to include a, a section dedicated entirely to operative techniques, which um, I believe uh, uh, many readers will find valuable. Uh, these chapters give important uh, tips on how to perform various procedures. We've also reorganized the imaging section uh, of the book uh, to a disease-based kind of an approach. Compared to the prior versions, um, uh, allows a multimodal discussion of how to image various diseases that affect the liver, pancreas, and biliary treatment. We've also have expanded sections on MIS and robotics, which I think most people will find useful. We also have new and expanded sections highlighting advances in the molecular characterization of, of tumors, benign and malignant diseases. There's new and expanded sections on perioperative management as well. And in addition, uh, interventional radiology and GI techniques, as well as other therapeutic treatments for a wide range of diseases. And finally, the authorship list uh, really includes essentially all of the world's leading authorities in liver, biliary, and pancreatic disease. So the book really addresses a wide range of topics that uh, face most practitioners, uh, from those uh, who focus entirely on HPB problems uh, to those who see these issues come up only occasionally. So it deals with uh, everyday problems, and it also deals with the latest uh, cutting edge research in terms of managing malignant disease, uh, the latest advances in molecular biology that have led to new therapeutic advances, and also cutting edge surgical techniques that I believe most uh, surgeons will find useful. And also for the non-surgeon, uh, a lot of discussion regarding uh, non-surgical therapies, including chemotherapy, radiation therapy for cancer, and uh, other techniques for managing uh, both benign and malignant disease. Certainly the hottest topics uh, as far as the surgical aspects are concerned would be advances in MIS and robotics, uh, and uh, we cover those areas uh, quite comprehensively. In addition, advances in the molecular uh, characterization, particularly for patients with cancer, and how these developments uh, have affected the way we think about these patients and approach them uh, uh, therapeutically. The book is uh, uh, gonna be a very special addition to me, mainly because the production took place during the COVID pandemic, which was a real challenge for everyone. It was a challenging time uh, for all of us. Life was difficult during this period. And I'm just very proud of the way all of the authors and the section editors came through uh, to deliver these chapters in a relatively timely fashion. So it was a real labor of love and dedicated to a man who's been a mentor to us all, Dr. Leslie Blumgard, who uh, uh, started this textbook many decades ago. And we're just very happy that we're able to carry on this tradition. <laughs>